the first thing you're going to need when you're actually doing this from a computer is you're going to need a mobile emulating software. So there's a bunch out there and a bunch of them work. I think there's also Google Chrome extensions, although I couldn't specifically find one that works. I know in the past there used to be extensions that kind of simulated using Instagram on a phone so that you could obviously post a lot faster from your PC. There might be one that works, you know, for offer up in that aspect. I just couldn't find one and I was probably searching for like 20, 30 minutes. The first one that I found that works very, very well, that actually does the job and streamlines it very, very easily is BlueStacks. You see it right here. It's a mobile emulator for PC and for Mac, but regardless of the, the uh, operating system that you're using, it will work for you. You can see right over here, BlueStacks. And all you need to do is you need to Google Blue Stacks, and it should pop up first, www.bluestacks.com, right? Go to that link, download Blue Stacks, it's very, very easy. And then from there, you can go to the Google Play Store once you actually download Blue Stacks and download the OfferUp app, okay? And that way you can actually post once you sign in or you download the OfferUp app, right? You sign into your OfferUp account, it's gonna emulate the fact that you're on a mobile device and then you can obviously post from your computer. It makes it a lot easier to download the pictures, copy and paste the listing and really move a lot faster depending on the operating system on your computer, okay? So I was doing this on my older laptop originally and it was going a little bit slower. And in my opinion, honestly, like compared to my older laptop, it was honestly faster to list it from my mobile device if you just kind of get in the zone and copy paste really fast. The only issue that slows you down with mobile is obviously like screen grabbing the pictures, but when you have a fast computer, uh, obviously it's gonna be, it's not really gonna be a problem, all right? So just take you through the motions really fast. We go, we're gonna post something here. We're gonna post the title in. We're also gonna right click and save the, uh, we'll just save this as like two as JPEG. And I'm gonna post, you can do this for drop shipping, but you can also do this for anything that you have reselling wise. This is something that I actually have in my inventory currently. So I'm going to literally just put, copy paste the title, right? Copy paste or uh, select the, uh, the photo here and, and literally drag the photo over then what I've noticed is if you click take photo for whatever reason, it pops up like it wants you to take a picture. But I've noticed that if you just drag the photo over, then it pops up and that's kind of the way that I've been able to get it to work very, very quickly. So for whatever reason then, once you actually drag the photo over, you wanna hit cancel so that it actually registers. And this is just the way that I've found to make it work. Then you go back into select photo and that photo should actually be there, right? Then you wanna select it. You'll see the outline. If you're obviously adding multiple photos, select multiple photos at once. You can see the listing that I just added here. Um, and then you're gonna hit done and bam, now you have the photo, right? So you have the photo, you have the title, what else do you need? Well, you need the actual, uh, you know, the, the listing part of it, right? The description. So we're gonna hit next and we're gonna paste that in. Make sure that your category is right. Often it will already have kind of the right category in there. This is gonna be clothing, shoes, and accessories. This is going to be women's clothing and it's gonna be like a women's, uh, women's sweatshirt, but I guess there's no like other, you know, subcategory there. We're going to hit next. And then we're going to paste the, uh, the actual price in there. Now I'm going to list this high. The only reason I used to have all these listed at like 55, but I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of this inventory because I want to buy some other potential, uh, inventory going forward. And I don't really want to st store a lot of this old liquidation inventory. I made a lot of money on this pallet specifically where actually it was a bunch of pallets where it was a number of, uh, you know, sports memorabilia and sports uh, clothing like this. And so I already made all my money back. So I'm just literally sitting on probably a hundred plus pieces of inventory that I really just want to get rid of. So while I'm making a little bit of money here, I'm really just looking for like reviews on specific, uh, you know, platforms, whether it's Facebook marketplace, whether it's, you know, Mercari, whether it's Poshmark, whether it's offer up, whatever, I'm honestly just trying to get rid of this inventory. And if I can make a profit or break even more power to me. So I'm going to list this at 25. You can obviously, it's going to depend on whether you're drop shipping and what you want to list your profit at, or if you're just trying to make money for, via your reselling listings, you can go firm on price. If you don't go firm on price, you might get offers or you might get messages about it. I always go firm on price because I don't want to spend a lot of my time messaging back and forth on offer. Out. Then you're going to hit next. You can obviously elect to ship nationwide, which is probably what the majority of you are going to do. I never enable buy now. I really, I think that that allows them to basically, uh, 
just solidify an offer so that if they hit the buy now button for a certain uh, number, even if that's lower, like a lower offer, it will just auto accept it. So I don't even ever play with that. If anybody has any other insight, you know, maybe let me know. But as far as I'm guessing, it says auto accept first full price offer. So I don't ever do that because I don't want to, especially with drop shipping listings, if I'm planning on listing a lot of drop shipping listings on offer up. I'm not going to want to auto accept anything lower because then I'm not going to be profitable, right? And the way that you're going to do this with drop shipping, obviously, is you're going to do the extra small. And then potentially, if you're not doing the drop ship arbitrage, potentially, uh, you know, just send out the, the thank you letter with this actual, you know, small listing. So that's why you're able to hit small because you're going to facilitate the sale from your supplier to the actual customer and then send out a thank you letter. If you're doing the drop ship arbitrage or if you're doing reselling and, you know, obviously you need to actually send the product, then that's when the difference here, uh, you'll go a little bit higher. But if you're sending a thank you note, extra small will do the job. And then obviously the customer doesn't really have to pay that much for the shipping. Okay. So I'm going to say small here and then we're going to post it. And bam, there you go. Now it's posted. And that's how you list on OfferUp from the computer, okay? Now, this is if you have listings, right? So if you have listings and they're already up on other websites or they're already up on like other marketplaces, then you can simply copy and paste the listings over very quickly using BlueStacks, which again is a mobile emulator for the computer. If you don't already, then you can simply use, for example, like if you were listing from somewhere like Amazon, well, then what you could do to download a picture, a bunch of pictures really, really quickly is you can use a, uh, a Google Chrome plugin right here called e-commerce image downloader, right? And what you basically do when you download this is if you hit right, if you download this right over here on top of the pictures, you'll see copy URL, download, download all directly, okay? And so if you use this plugin and you just download all these pictures directly, it makes it really, really easy and it auto downloads all the images to you so that you can then just upload them a lot faster. And then same thing, copy paste the listing, bam, bam, and you can do it very quickly, okay? So this is a game changer. The ability to use BlueStacks really opens up a lot of doors for you so that you can list on OfferUp with a lot less hassle, a lot less headaches, and a lot faster, which ultimately will make you more money. Because while I've been listing on OfferUp, I've been seeing that there are sales that come from it, right? It's not necessarily on par with like a Mercari or a Poshmark or a Facebook Marketplace or, you know, an eBay or an Amazon or anything like that, but it is kind of like a baby Poshmark, a baby Mercari, a baby eBay, and you do get sales on there, right? So if you already have these listings, it behooves you to spend, you know, a couple, maybe 20, 30 minutes or an hour, you know, cross posting some of your listings to OfferUp, see how it works for you. I've been getting sales on OfferUp. And then obviously it's another platform where you don't really need to do much more. Your listings are just going to sit there and potentially sell for you. Okay.